what's up you two similar to here been looking into this uh the sun thing and, and uh well i mean i've been in it a few months now you know looking at it well you know actually i've been in this for a couple of years looking at how this uh hydrogen technology works and uh well it's it, it's pretty amazing but nonetheless it's still just you know natural chemistry you take uh you know you just take you know well water's got hydrogen and oxygen in it you know that's what makes up water and you uh use electrolysis to uh displace or to uh break down the the two elements from hydrogen and oxygen and when you do that they become flammable they happen to be in the right ratio no matter how much the more electricity you put in there the more more you draw out of it at the time you can see here this is just just a little flame going here you can see that's just water I mean it's it's not flammable you know water is not flammable whatsoever but, you know, I, got, I got three batteries here and I just series them together so it makes three 12 volt batteries will make 36 volts when they series together I'm just going to touch them together here. Just show you right here real time how this actually works. You know what I mean? You can see that's flammable, highly flammable gas. You see it burn right here. You know, and if we uh, back a little bit, we close the top here. It's just old plastic container. You know, we close the top off. Let it run for a second. And breathe. I mean, uh, bleed off the air out of the out of the top of it. And we take a uh, a balloon. You capture that right there. Hold my fingers here so it blow up in the right spot. That's just again, this is just water and electricity. And I mean, it creates its own pressure. And when you burn this, it turns back to water vapor again. I got a little torch over here. We'll show you how that works, too. But at any rate, I mean, I just did this one so we could all see it happen, you know, in real time. That's plenty loud enough right there. We'll turn it off. And we're going to tie it off right there. It's probably too big. Crap, man. Okay. Now, as you see here, I've done a few of these in front of this camera, and what I do is go in the back in the house there and uh, put this put this footage in in a film editor, and you could slow it down to one frame at a time and actually catch the explosion and see what happens as it happens. In re, you know, and what we'll do, I'll show you this one right here. I show you how you know we just we just made this one. It's gonna be loud. Of course, you won't really tell as good on that camera as you will standing here. But at any rate, here we go. That's a lot of energy in that thing. You see, but we'll take that footage that we just watched right there and go inside. And I've been turning the light off and doing it, but but we'll just we'll check that one right there when we go inside. And look at all this footage that I got from from doing these in the dark and whatnot. Another thing that happens too when you use this a lot, quite a bit after you know a couple of hours, I thought it was peculiar. You get this uh, algae looking looks like looks like your algae. You know, like like the red tide algae that shows up in the ocean. There could be because of an excess of electricity. Passing through the ocean, see. At any rate, uh, when you burn this, let's take a look at that. Turn back down. 
got a little torch here I just made out of some tubing and some welding tip, a uh, MIG wire welding tip. And uh, and then you fill the inside of this with steel wool so it's a backflash arrestor. It won't let the, the fuel burn back and blow up. And I just use these balloons, you know, because they, they create pressure and they're pretty safe if the balloon pops. It ain't hurt nobody, but the feelings ain't hurt nothing. You, know, you don't want to hook this torch directly to one of these and, and then blow up the damn thing because that's the problem with this technology. The oxygen and hydrogen are pre-mixed naturally in this, you know, in the cell. And the fact is, you can't, you can't store that because all it takes is a spark. And as you know, the, the triangle of fire, you, you have to have three things, oxygen, fuel, and, and heat. At any rate, we'll watch this here. Show you how. Here we get the light. It's got a long flame to it. But what we'll do, watch how the uh, how the, how this moisture comes back. See the? You see it? It'll start almost beading up water at the other end of the table over there. You know, it puts out moisture just like what's been measured out of sunspots and whatnot. As you burn hydrogen, it turns back to water vapor again as it produces heat. Now we're gonna look at the, uh, we'll take a look at the scale of how things look and, and what we've shown, you know, throughout our life. And, and you can, well, I mean, we'll look at, we can look at a, a nuclear weapon and see how is it, how large it is and if you scale that up to the size of the sun and then you look at the scale that, that the earth is from the sun it's quite obvious you can't be that close to something like that you, not even earth could be that close to it you'd have to be according to the scale you'd have to be billions of miles away from from that something that size doing that at any rate a nuclear you know detonation or fusion reaction looks nothing like what we see in the sky. I mean, what we see in the sky is, you know, so I'll take a look here. This is just a regular welding lens, you know. Take this camera right here, put this lens right up against it. Look at that light bulb. It's a 100 watt light bulb. Take the same, same, uh, welding lens. I'll here look at Sun. I wish I had some 200 watt light bulbs because it'd be just about, wouldn't be much different. At any rate, you can see that it's not killer bright. I mean, you actually use the welding lens yourself and look through it with your eyeball, you can see. Yeah, the light bulb much dimmer, but yet it, you can look right at the sun with this with this lens, with this little old lens. It's not much darker than a, a good pair of sunglasses. But at any rate, we'll go inside and look at the footage and uh, pick that stuff apart. <laughs> 